Hello everyone, greetings for the day and welcome back to our today's learning journey. This is Divya and you are watching Trainbrain. In today's class, we learn about the letter S and its two sounds. Let's get started with our today's session. So here we go. We all know that letter S can make two different sounds. If you don't know, please make a note. Letter S is unique and we call it unique because it can actually make up two different sounds in English. Now, one of the sound often refers to the sound S and the second sound is referred to the Z as if the bees are buzzing. So we have two sounds. S makes the S sound. S also makes the Z sound. When children start to recognize these sounds, they become better when they are using these words, when they are reading and to speak. It also helps them to work on their pronunciation okay and they would be able to pronounce the words rightly so let's take a look at some more you know interesting facts to understand this first thing the letter s sounds s and this is the most common sound that is associated with the letter s now, how does it sound it's a very soft sound you can also give a tip to the child that children it is like a hissing sound similar to the noise of what the snake makes now when you show them the flash card of the snake it makes the s sound. It becomes easy for a child also to associate the letter to the letter sound and to the picture. Okay. And slowly you can introduce that the sound is voiceless. That means it is produced without using the vocal cords. So to explain it a little bit more, use a lot of examples. Take a lot of words. Now say suppose in case if you're working with words like small, small, small. So you can always work on the action. To support it, put a picture. Now take any other word like, you know, smash it. Smash it. S smash. Smash. Right? Now say, suppose if you want to slap somebody. Slap. Slap. Don't take that as an example. We don't want to slap anyone, but I'm just giving you as a word. Okay? Now uh, let's snap our fingers. Snap. 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 Let's sniff. Sniffing is nothing but smelling. Let's sniff. Sniff. So I can hear the beginning sound of s. Give such word building exercises to your children. If there is a possibility, associate the pictures related to the sounds and always reinforce these words every day. Now, in, in case if any of the word has a double consonant also, the S can actually make up the S sound, as in words like grass, mess, boss, less, pass. So we are using the S sound. So now the child will definitely get the phonological awareness. Wherever they see the S, most of the time they had made the sound S. Even for the double consonant, wherein we had the combination of an S and an S together, they sounded S. So use the gestures. This is the key. That's the first sound. Now what's the second sound? Letter S can also make up the Z sound. Like in rose. Now Z sound is less commonly used. But is it important? Equally important. Why? Because when children are using these letters and these words, they should never get confused when they're trying to read. They shouldn't be reading them as R, O, S, E, R, O, S, E. They shouldn't be reading that way, right? So we read them as rows. Now here is where whenever you encounter with such words, you can also introduce the new concept to the children and say them, children, this is what I was talking about. The letter has S as the second sound. That's the S sound. It's a buzzing sound like the noise of what the bee makes. And you can introduce the picture of a bee. So we had the picture of a snake. For s sound, a picture of a B for the z sound. Now, z sound is voiced. That means it is produced using your vocal cords. Take more examples. Rose. What is rose? It's a type of a flower. Rose. Rose. Even though there is letter S here, what are you hearing? You're hearing the z sound, right? So it can definitely have. But how would you teach this thing to a child? You have to put them under a rule. Now, what is the rule? When can the letter S 
turn into the z sound. It's so simple. You got to just remember this rule. Your letter S usually makes the z sound when it is in between the two vowels. Take the word music, where S sound is heard as z. Why it is heard as z? Because S is in between two of the other vowels, U and I. Did you notice that? Yes. So it made the z sound. Let's take another one. Rose. S is in between two of the vowels. So it's making what sound? S sound. Now, did you get this rule? Definitely, yes. Practice more words. Cheese. Cheese. S is making the z sound because it is in between of two vowels. Likewise, you can have a list of words. If the child is not able to understand the word, always introduce them to sentences. Always link to sentences. That's how the child would learn a little bit more. Say, for example, please. Please. What is please? It's a polite word to ask for something. Please. S is making the sound S because it's in between the vowel A and E. Okay. Was. What is was? Was is a past tense of is. Okay. He was happy. He was sad. Now it is a sight word also. So the child now understands about the sight words too. That it needs to be worked upon a photographic memory. But even in this word was, I don't have two vowels. But my S is still making the Z sound. Those are tricky words. Those are sight words. Is. I. S. Is. What is this? It's a word that links the subject to something. Okay. So you can always give a little bit of extra information to the child to make them understand much better. So practice more. Okay, now what you can do once you have introduced the sound and the z sound, make a table, list as many words as possible, let the students read as soon as they come for the next day until they master in that. Always remember, every child's learning ability is different. Have patience, repeat, repeat and repeat. Okay, the more you repeat, it becomes helpful for a child. It becomes also easier when you start introducing with visual aids, give a lot of gestures, do a quite number of repetition lessons. Only then the child will get the awareness about these sounds and their differentiations. I have summed it up here. Not to forget to use the visual words. Use flashcards, pictures to illustrate the letter sounds in any given word. Always use the gestures. Okay, so always use the gestures like, you know, making a snake kind of a gesture for the sound. Buzzing bee gesture to make the z sound. Repetition is important so that we reinforce the sounds. Sorting games are important so that you understand if the child has understood the differences, whether it is a z sound word or a set of s sound words. Understanding both the sounds for the letter S helps our children to build a strong foundation for reading and pronunciation skills in young learners. If you'd like to know more, you can join to our diploma courses and we do a lot of lessons, not only on phonics, but on the entire set of Montessori education. We offer both online and the offline programs. You can enroll into any of our closest available centers in Bangalore. If you would like to take up our online sessions, you can connect to us at the any given numbers. We do work on the online sessions also. Thank you for watching. Have a great learning. This is Divya. Take care. Bye-bye.